What's going on everyone? Matthew Osborne here and this is the day five update of the 14 day e-flip challenge. If this is the first video you're watching, click that link in the description below to sign up for the challenge. You'll get a few training videos along with being able to follow along from day one uh, of this 14 day documenting I'm doing for the challenge. So today we're gonna discuss the book I purchased this morning from eFlip, why I purchased it uh, and the ROI I'm expecting from this book. And I'll be doing this every day uh, until the 14 days is up. So let's dive in, let's check out this Keepa chart and see why I purchased the book for day five. All right, so as you can see in this Keepa chart right here, uh, there's pretty consistent sales. It's a little bit seasonal. You can see a few more sales over here in August and September. Uh, a couple more in January and February. Actually, it seems more like end of January, early February. Uh, but it stays fairly consistent throughout the year. It's got an e-score of 30 currently. And as you can see over there, uh, during textbook season and around there, the price was hovering around $90. And currently, the price is hovering around uh, a little over $50. Except, as you can see right here at the very end of the chart, it just dropped to about $35 for the lowest used price. So that's what made me want to look at this book. Let's take a peek at the used offers for this book. So this is the merchant fulfilled offers for this book. You can see the very first one is $36.22. Uh, technically it's a little bit more than that since there's tax, but it is free shipping. Uh, and it's a very good book. It's from a very reputable seller. We've got a couple more $30 offers under there then it jumps up to two $40 offers. And then there's only $50 offers uh, from there on out. And each of these items right here only has one left in stock, so no one has a crazy amount of books that I'll have to worry about. So what I went ahead and did, and I purchased this lowest offer right there, the very first one in very good condition. Now let's take a look at what the FBA offers currently are for this book. There's only three, and each of these uh, sellers only has one copy in stock, which is a good thing because the sales velocity is about to pick up in August uh, and so with these three they're probably going to sell out fairly quickly. The third one's priced fairly high but if the other two sell out there's a chance they might be able to sell that book for $260 because Amazon is not on this listing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this $36 offer, the very good one, I'm going to purchase this one and I'm going to list it for right uh, under probably the second one right there. I'm going to list it for about $120, $119 somewhere around there so it's not way too low but also I'm going to wait until that $79 offer sells uh, so I can make a little bit more back uh, for this book. So if we take a look at the calculator for this book, this is one of the things I like um, about eFlip and about purchasing these kind of books is because you can you find ways to limit the risk that you have. So right there at the top you can see with shipping $39.71 is my all-in buy cost for this book. If I list this book at $119 which is what I'm hoping to list it at and sell it, that would be 130% ROI. It's the middle of July right now. I'm expecting to get this book probably in two weeks. I can send it right back to Amazon and hopefully get a sale uh, within about a month in the middle of August and hopefully make 131% back on this book. But even if something goes wrong, maybe more offers come on the market, something like that, uh, I can still list this book at $80, which is what the lowest uh, use price has been for quite a while for this book. It was actually a little bit above that. And even if I have to lower all the way down to $80, I'm still getting almost 50% return on my money. Not only am I making the money back that I spent, but getting 50% more. So I'd make $18.49. So the thing I like about this book is that hopefully I'll get the 130%. But even if I don't, and even if things return back to where they've been consistently, and I have to lower my price, uh, I can still make my money back and make some money on this book. So it's good to find books like this. You can limit your risk. Hopefully you can shoot higher and make that. But if you can't, at least you won't lose money and you can still make some back. So that's why I purchased this book for day five of the 14-day eFlip challenge. Again, if this is the first video you're watching or you haven't yet, sign up for the challenge below. You can get some special pricing for it. Um, and follow along with these videos as they come out. Subscribe below if you want to see each of these videos as I post them daily. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six.